This is my Tormach lathe that I purchased used. Um, I've got a couple other videos from when we unloaded this uh, into the shop, but we're getting ready to do some upgrades on it. I uh, bought the turret for it, uh, a bunch of tooling. Uh, also bought this little uh, catch tray that goes in the bottom. That's just a chip catch to keep it from dropping all the way into the bottom. I think it was thirty dollars, so it was easier to cheaper to buy it than to uh, than to try to make one. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. I since this already started with the uh, original enclosure on it, I have to take all that off before we can get to the point where we can start installing the turret. On the back here, you basically just need to remove this line and then feed it back through and then bring it back up through this hole, reroute it, mount a little clamp here, but then get it and to come through this slot and then you just have to notch out the cover so that it fits in that slot. Then you basically just reconnect it to where it was. Okay, so notes after taking this off and rerouting it and tapping the hole for this screw and putting it all back together. Um, when you take this connector out, Again, this was a used machine, so I think this would have been assembled by the previous guy. I'm not sure. Um, this wasn't all the way pushed in. There's a little uh, brass fitting on the end of the of the hose that's inside this sheath here. Um, and it stayed stuck in the hole. Um, so I couldn't, I had to pull that out with a pick. Um, so just make sure you get that out and then get that seated over the end of the line that's on the inside here or the line is loose. It won't stay in there. Um, I didn't, they want this more horizontal, but my uh, hose, I think because it's been on here for a while, was kind of wanted to go in this direction in order to hit the hole. Um, so I think that's going to be okay. Uh, I did make a mistake, but it's not in a spot where you can really see it after the, I assume after the total enclosure is on, but the holes on the front, if you have it, if you just hold it up against the side without the holes being lined up, well, that's where I originally marked and cut my hole for that passage. It does, it's not really that bad. It, I chipped the paint so it looks worse than it is, but, um, but when you put it on and you go to line the holes up, well, it didn't work, so I had to hog out my hole a little bit, but not a big deal. It'll give it a little bit more clearance. It's at that angle anyway, and it doesn't doesn't really cause an issue. I just kind of wish it looked a little better, but it's on the back side of the machine, and it'll probably be it'll be inside the enclosure, so no big deal. So we've got everything set up, ready to ready to install the turret. Uh, I've cleaned the surface. We've got that oil line rerun that I just showed. Um, so we've got the got the crate with the turret here. In the bottom of the crate, mine was kind of hidden. Um, they show the instructions that it's included, so I went and looked for it. Um, they've got a uh, little link to use here to pick it up. Um, I'm just going to again do it do it with my gantry. So we just put this on here, and the plan is to just lift it out, and then I'll move this pallet out of the way, and then I'm just going to pick up the machine with the pallet jack and just bring it underneath instead of trying to move the gantry around. I think that's going to be easier. We've also got our mounting bolts, I assume is what these are, um, in there. So I'm going to let that hang there for a second and we're going to move this pallet out of the way.
So we thread these two screws in here and then we can drop it through these slots on and that will hold it in place. I'm just pushing it back so that it will actually sit on that painted plastic housing instead of sitting on this surface as I, as I drop it down. Okay, so there we've got it. There's no weight on it. Um, it is sitting on those, so it could rotate. So I'll get the other ones in. So these are all about an eight millimeter uh, Allen. Uh, it'd be nice to have a socket when you put this together, I think, just to make things easier. I've got one. Left. Okay, so we've got that in place. Now we just need to run our electrical connections. I haven't completely got this buttoned up yet as far as the wiring goes, but just to give you an idea of the path it takes. So you come down from the turret and then it runs down underneath and then up through this casting. There's a hole and you have to feed it in through the holes across on the front side. And then it comes into this box and then comes in through the top here. And then you add this board, you add this capacitor here and then connect the ribbon cable down to the lathe controller, connect this wire that you feed through. And then you take off the covers for these routes here and run down, oh, wrong, wrong one, run down to the bottom and connect your two power wires here and then connect your ground wire down here and then the electrical part of it is complete.